Thanks for your interest in Microsoft Dynamics AX and Lean Manufacturing. Dynamics AX supports discrete manufacturing, process manufacturing, and lean manufacturing. Lean manufacturing with an AX is controlled by the use of Kanban cards. Kanban cards control the material flow to work cells as well as the production within the work cell. This slide illustrates two Kanban loops controlled within Dynamics AX. The first loop is for raw materials, and that's controlled with your typical fixed or traditional Kanban. The second loop is for the production of finished goods, which is controlled with what we call a scheduled Kanban. Think of a scheduled Kanban as having to do the same amounts of items on a daily basis through a particular work cell. This is what creates the demand for the particular Kanban. We're going to navigate to the production control area of Dynamics AX and we're going to look at the Kanban schedule board. This is the Kanban schedule board in Dynamics AX. It represents one individual work cell broken down into time buckets. In this case we're looking at daily buckets. Now the purple and the green cards represent the Kanbans that have been loaded into the daily buckets onto the work cell. What we're going to see in the next couple illustrations is the ability to drag and drop Kanban cards individually or collectively as well as reschedule a Kanban card from a time bucket that is over capacity. The Kanban schedule board is a way to visually understand your schedule and your load of Kanbans on a particular work cell broken down by time period. So we've seen how we scheduled the Kanbans that represent the finished goods, but what about that first loop? That's the loop that we're using to replenish the work cell with raw materials. In this case, we have a Kanban board for transfer jobs, and what that basically means is a board where we can monitor the Kanban flow for that replenishment cycle that brings raw materials to our work cell. What you're going to see in the next couple screen clicks is the ability to take one of those Kanbans to start the process, to complete the process, to report the Kanban as empty, which will start the cycle all over again. So we've started it, we've completed it, which means that that inventory handler has now returned that Kanban or that container back to the work cell and it's full. And the next step is going to be to empty it. And by emptying it, we restart that circular process. That completed the cycle, but what's important to understand is that many of those steps were optional. So the level of control that you want to apply to any particular Kanban flow is entirely up to you and how it best fits your organization. Let's go ahead and look at what the actual physical Kanban card looks like for this particular Kanban, which is the Lean 001RM. Similar to our Kanban board for transfer jobs, the Kanban board that allows us to monitor and control the replenishment loop of raw materials to our work cell, I have a Kanban board for process jobs that allows me to control production. Now this should look very familiar to you because we're looking at our green and our purple icons which represent our Kanban cards. These were the same Kanban cards we saw on our scheduling board. And what I'm able to do here is to very simply report against these Kanban cards, which really means that I'm reporting production. Very quickly and easily I was able to take several Kanban cards and report them as being complete. Now before I leave this screen, what I want to do is just print off one of the Kanban cards to give you an idea of what it might look like attached to a container or whatever mechanism you might use in your organization.
Very quickly I was able to report the production completion of multiple Kanbans. One thing you may have noticed in the printed Kanbans, both for the material transfer and for the production Kanban, was the included barcode. And the system is built to facilitate barcode scanning. So if you look at the top of the screen, you'll see an area where the start and complete as well as select Kanban function could be performed by scanning as opposed to uh, clicking as I did in the illustration. I just want to take a minute and recap the key points. Dynamics AX supports discrete process and lean manufacturing. Lean manufacturing is controlled by using Kanban cards. Kanban cards to control the replenishment of raw materials and subassemblies to a work cell, as well as the production of subassemblies and finished goods within the work cell. What's important to understand is that ERP and lean manufacturing, specifically Kanban, are not mutually exclusive. By coupling both of these techniques within one ERP system, we're able to provide greater visibility and control to what's happening in our work cells than by using a manual Kanban system alone. Thanks for your interest in Microsoft Dynamics AX and Lean Manufacturing.